Hello everybody, The Quiet Atheist here. Before I get started, this is going to be a direct response video to Stiggy, Stigma Dean, Bruce Shepard, or whatever he decides to call himself today. Yes, Stiggy, I do have a bone to pick with you. But before I get started with that, I want to provide my subscribers with a little bit of information so that they can get a basic idea of what is going on. And by the end of the video, please feel free to check out all the relevant links down below in the description and let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Stiggy, I wanted to talk to you today because obviously you do not know what is going on. I want to provide you with a little bit of information and it is up to you whether you want to pay attention to it or not. You know, um, it is your choice to remain ignorant on the subject. You could do whatever you want. Um, it turns out that this whole situation started when there was this uh, town near Chicago, I believe it was called Martin Grove, and this individual was running this park district in Martin Grove. I believe he's still running it. Um, he decided, you know, to take it upon himself to basically not stand for the Pledge of Allegiance, and he had many reasons for doing this. And one of the reasons he had for doing this was because he had a problem with the U.S. military using drone strikes in other countries, so on and so forth. And that's why he that that's why he did want to stand for the pledge, basically. Or it turns out that there is this religious veterans group out there who was basically donating money to the park district there in Martin Grove, and they caught wind that this individual that was running the park di parks district wasn't standing for the pledge, and they basically went to the, one of the meetings and they said, "Well, hey." if you do not stand for the pledge we're not going to fund your park district anymore we're not going to donate money whatever the case might be and he still basically refused to stand for the pledge and rightfully so it is his right to not stand for the pledge if he wants well it turns out you know that basically this religious veterans group did not donate the twenty eight hundred or three thousand dollars i believe you know to the park district they didn't donate it it turns out that the friendly atheist caught wind of this whole situation, you know, and decided to take it upon himself to make a video to gather up a community where they would basically, you know, get up enough money together to donate to this park district, you know. And he made a video about it and he made everybody aware of the situation. And he got the money together and he made a check out to the park district. Well, it just so happens that this particular park district didn't accept a check because they said you know they didn't want to take sides so on and so forth so he decided to you know try and donate the check to the Martin Grove uh, library if you will and the Martin Grove library also refused the check as well and matter of fact they seemed to add on that you know that you know the friendly atheist was a hate group so on and so forth and that's one of the reasons why they didn't accept the money. You know. And at this moment, to me, it seemed like there was nothing else to do, but you know, the friendly atheist made it clear that he was going to donate the money to a food pantry, if you will, I believe it was in Martin Grove as well, you know, where it'd be able to provide more food for people that were needy and so on and so forth, that he's going to be looking into that option. And um, that's, the little bit of information I want to uh, share with you guys and like I said at the beginning of the video all of the information and videos will be provided in the description so Stiggy that's the information that I wanted to provide for you because you seem to have no idea who friendly atheist is you know he's a generous individual he likes to help people he likes to uh, you know better communities that people live in you know he does what he can when he can you know and he does a lot of things that are admirable and he's a very kind individual you had every right to say what you had to say you know and so do I you are completely misguided Stiggy for what you said in your video and it seems to me that you've been running on a lot of statements without facts if you will you seem to have a habit of doing that and it really gets annoying when you 
come onto this site and you spew diarrhea out of your mouth that makes no sense whatsoever and then at the same time you wonder why people are so upset with you you know you have no idea who this individual is yet you sit here and you want to tell him to stick his to check up his ass sideways really is that really necessary just because he comes to a different conclusion about something than you do you want to treat him like trash you want to call him names you want to call him a leader of a hate group whatever the case might be that is stupidity at its finest you know and I'm going to use something that you tend to use a lot and it is as follows Steve, you tend to use a lot of hasty generalizations full of bigotry and ignorance yet you want to call us out on these exact same things it makes you a hypocrite it really does you know nothing about this situation yet you want to stick your mouth out there and you want to talk all of this garbage about an individual who tr works very hard to try and make society better for a lot of individuals day in and day out your actions stink your comments stink your whole attitude about the whole situation stinks and it needs to stop plain and simple if you don't have anything to s nice to say about this individual the friendly atheist who obviously you know works very hard to make society better for a lot of individuals do not say anything at all because I don't see you contributing to any kind of society whatsoever you just sit on that couch and shoot your mouth off day in day out day in day out you sound like a broken record that has played that has been played over and over and over again and it stinks you run off of assumptions and this whole copy and paste business of yours really stinks I just wanted to share this with you I just wanted to provide you with a little information because all the links to everything will be provided down below for you to take a look at as well Stig and I really want you to really look at the information I really want you to have the ability to soak it in if you will pay attention to what the content is all about before you start shooting your mouth off full of nonsense but that's all I have to say about it the next time I'm out if you can't be good be good at it and thank you for watching